Handmaid's Tale has given us four shocking seasons of the life of the handmaids inside the wicked world of Gilead. And with that, they've given us some epic scenes that we can't forget. But have you ever wondered how much some of these scenes cost? Today we're gonna dive into some of the expensive scenes on the show, so keep watching as we show you all the most expensive scenes to film in Handmaid's Tale. Let's get started! Grocery Store If you were to film any other show that doesn't include a made-up world like Gilead, you would be fine to film grocery store scenes in a regular grocery store. But when it comes to The Handmaid's Tale, nothing is regular here. We've already seen all of the things that the handmaids are forbidden to do, and one of those things is reading. The women of Gilead aren't allowed to read, so this made creating this kind of scene to be quite the challenge, for both the crew members and the designers that were given the task to create such a set. The grocery store that we end up seeing in the show is definitely quite dark and unsettling, and it took long hours to make and a lot of money also. The designers had to make sure that each article in the store was simple and didn't include any letters or words. Now, we know that no matter what we buy in the store, each article has at least a name. In this case, the designers used only colors to the products and they made sure to give them all simple looks. But this didn't come cheap. They spent a lot of money and time to create the entire store for just one scene in the show. The Crossing The Crossing was a really shocking and hard episode to watch, between the handmaids getting caught and transported up until their escape and the death of Alma and Brianna, the entire episode was a roller coaster. Even though nothing in the scene really stood out to make a scene look really expensive, the global pandemic made sure that even the easiest looking scenes cost a lot of money. Elizabeth Moss, who plays June in the show, went on to talk about the scene saying that even though it took a few takes to get everything perfect, Given that they were filming during a pandemic, it ended up raising their costs up by a lot. Between the van, the locations, and the numerous takes on each scene, the cast and the crew were looking at long hours on set that not only made them extremely tired, but also forced them to spend more money on getting the perfect shot. It might not look like a very hard scene to film, with the girls breaking out from the van and running, but when you look behind the scenes at what was happening, you'll see just how much people and equipment was involved for just one scene. And all of that just keeps adding to the cost. Lincoln Memorial Filming at a location that is a national monument such as the Lincoln Memorial might sound like a good idea, but it involves a lot of preparations, restrictions, and dealing with a crowd for a short on-screen moment. Given how much it took to actually film in this location for only one day, the producers were set on it saying that nothing beats a real location. We must admit, the scene looked as good as ever, but with seven months of planning and negotiations required for a one-day shoot, it must have cost more than any scene in the show. Once they got the permit for filming in this location, they also had a limitation to only five people in the area called the chamber where the Lincoln statue is located. This also put a lot of pressure to the crew and cast given that only few actors could film there and only few crew members could accompany them inside. Some of the other rules for filming in this monument were that the use of chalk and painter's tape for marking actors' positions were forbidden. So that also presented a challenge for the actors as they tried to remember their position in the scene. But in the end, we got one incredible scene that we couldn't imagine being filmed anywhere else. The heritage from the Lord offspring a reward from him. Boat Scene One of the most challenging scenes to film in Season 4 was the boat scene where June and Moira were leaving Gilead to go to Canada. Even though the scene was really emotional, given that June had to leave Janine behind and hop on the boat with Moira, it was also a huge pain to film as well. With the global pandemic and lockdowns hitting us in 2020, their filming schedules had to be moved from summer to fall and early winter. Now imagine filming on a boat in Canada in early winter. They were on a boat in the middle of Lake Ontario for an entire week while filming this scene. Working 12 hours a day in the cold Canadian weather definitely isn't easy. They had to film at night as well as get the perfect shot. And oftentimes it was really windy and the actors would get extremely cold, so they had to take a break from filming. Moss even revealed that it would definitely be a scene she would remember for her entire life but also it was the most challenging one to film due to the weather conditions. Being the great actresses they are, they put all of the cold aside and focused on getting the perfect scene. 
but in the end, it did take a week to film it and it ended up costing more than what they anticipated. It's gone forever. Diana is gone forever. June gives birth. When Elizabeth Moss was asked about her hardest scene she has ever filmed in Handmaid's Tale, with no hesitation, she said that it was when June gave birth on her own. Now, if you've watched the show, you definitely know the scene and just how hard it was watching June go through all of the pain on her own. And in reality, this scene was as hard as it looked. Moss said that from everything she has done in the show, this takes up the number one place for the hardest scene because it involved a baby. Working with babies and kids can be tricky sometimes, and one of those times was exactly this scene. Not only did she have to give birth alone, but they also had a baby that was supposed to get the post-birth look. So the crew decided in order to get the look, they would put cream cheese and jelly on the baby. Moss further said that the mixture of cream cheese and jelly didn't smell good at all and the baby was not having it that day. The baby would scream so loud that they were unable to film the scene at all. They took multiple takes to get it right and with that they had to spend a little bit more money on the scene for all the takes they had to take because of the screaming baby. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> milk The epic scene where June and Janine jump into a large milk car in order to escape from Gilead is definitely a masterpiece and one of the best scenes from season 4. Given the cold weather in Canada and jumping into a cold liquid definitely doesn't sound quite right, but jumping a few times in a row for the perfect shot is definitely worse. Now, can you imagine also having an allergic reaction to the liquid as well? Well, actress Madeline Brewer, the star who plays Janine, had such an experience from filming the scene. The liquid they used to make the car look like it's filled with milk was a mixture of unsweetened vanilla soft serve with water that they had to make sure was opaque enough so that their red robes could not be seen if they went under. Both Moss and Brewer were in the tank for 12 hours, swimming around it trying to get each second right. But afterwards, Brewer got a rash from the liquid, with the allergic reaction from Brewer to the loads of liquid used and the multiple takes they had to do, this scene is definitely among the most expensive ones they had to film. On a related note, we wanted to know which scene do you think cost the most money out of all of them? Let us know in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more amazing videos such as this one, make sure to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching guys.